Hi, I'm Anthony Bryan, Product Evangelist with Jscape. In this video, I'm going to talk about restrictions you can place on the server for users. Some of these are access restrictions based on IP or time, and then others are restrictions based on file name uploads, password compliance, and connections. Here we are in Jscape MFT Server Manager, and we're going to configure a few things by going to File, Settings, and then connection. Here you can add multiple servers that you might want to connect to by clicking the add button. And there's also options for prompt for password on connect and prompt for connection where you choose between different servers that you have set up. The manager service node lets you configure which IP host, port, and password information the manager service will run with. The security tab lets you restrict by IP address. We'll see similar settings in a second on the IP access node. Notice that there's also an option for blocking an IP after a certain number of attempts for security. Let's move over to the IP access node where you can configure which IP addresses can access your server. The current settings let any IP version 4 or IP version 6 address access services on your domain. As you can see, you can use an asterisk as a wildcard to allow whole blocks of IP addresses. Keep in mind that IP access rules are applied in order. So if you have something like this here where everything is allowed and then later where something is denied, the first rules will take precedence. Click add to add an IP access rule. Here you can use a specific IP address or use an asterisk to specify whole blocks. This allow rule would actually have no effect because it's below an allow everything rule. So we'll just delete it and move on. Next up is the time access node, which lets you restrict access to the domain services based on time. As you can see, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you wanted to close down on Tuesday, this is what you would do. But we're going to turn this off. The ban files node lets you set which files are banned from upload. This current one disallows anything with the extension VBS. But it doesn't have to be by extension. You just have to use a regular expression and you could restrict any file name. On the compliance node, you have password restrictions for minimum length, maximum age, things about changing the password, and restrictions on the actual password, what it can contain. Lastly, we have the connections node, which lets you change options for maximum number of connections, file download and upload sizes, maximum number of uploads and downloads and transfers, and then important information like blocking an IP after invalid attempts and disabling an account after invalid attempts. You can set up triggers for these last two, which could be important to know about if someone's trying to break into your server. In this video, we talked about ways you can restrict access to services in your domain based on IP, time, ban files, compliance, and connections. For more information on Jscape MFT server, please visit jscape.com.